The second thing is we want to auto match headings and consolidate sheets in Power BI. Now, what do I mean? For me to show you that, I need to open something in Excel. So there's usually a problem in Excel when you're consolidating data, when, you're cons when you want to auto, auto match certain things. So let's say this is my spreadsheet. And right now I have my name, my department, my title, and then I have total gross, basic, housing, and leave, right? So G has leave, for example. If I go to August, August. G for August is not leave. So let me zoom in a bit so you see that. So if you check my August, the column G is housing. In my May, column G, what's column G? Let's go my May column. Column G is housing. Okay, we're lucky. It's housing for G, right? So in June, Column G is not housing, column G is transport. So column G is transport, see? Right, so here we have, if we go to March, let's even go to March. If we go to March, let's see what does March have to offer. So in this March sheet, March is even a little bit more confusing because if you look at March, it says the first column A is title, name, and then department name. Uh, if I go to April, column A, you know how very annoyed you are in your office when someone gives you a really hopelessly scattered table. Look at this. It's, it's name, department, then title. But in March, it's title, department, and name. And then everything else is scattered. So we know that the tables contain everything. It's just that it's all kind of messed up somehow. So Power Query will help solve this for us. So let me close this. By the way, if you want to do a query for an Excel workbook, or so you have to make sure it's closed. It has to be closed first. So we're not doing the query from uh, Excel. We're going to do it from here. So auto matching headings. That's what we're doing. Consolidating sheets in Power BI. So two things in one. We're auto matching as well as consolidating sheets. So what do we do? Well, we need to connect to Excel because the data is in Excel. So we get data from Excel. So where are we getting data from? I have all my data here, and this is its auto headings recon. So I click on this, and I, I, I can just double click on it. So it's going to open it. So we're connected to the auto headings sheet, right? So all of this, we want to kind of consolidate it. So we click on the auto heading. Now, if you click on the auto heading, if you look here, I can't edit. Now, what's happening? I can't edit. In Excel, I'll be able to edit. Really, there's a trick. All you need to do is right-click on the folder, this folder, and then say Edit. So once you say Edit, all right, so it's up. There we go. So we've opened it, and now we need to kind of consolidate it a bit. Right, there's something about this trick. When you want to consolidate and keep the headings and let it look at the headings and everything, that is only works when you're using table. Now, for those that know Excel a lot, in Excel, when you have a, a data, when you have data in Excel, if you convert it to a table by doing, um, by just clicking anywhere within the data and going to insert table, this is a special thing that table does. So this, this data is all the same, right? But this is a sheet. This is an Excel sheet, and then this is a table in Excel. So we need to filter out the sheet because it doesn't work with sheets. It works with tables. So you need to convert every single data you have, every single sheet, Make it a table. Just control T, control T, control T. Just take note of that. So we are going to leave. We need our data, and I think we need our item. We need to know what month it is. We just want to have that. So I'm highlighting this, holding my control key, and clicking the next thing, and then removing other columns, right? So remove other columns, and then we can now expand this. So we expand, and usually I like to remove this original name prefix. We don't need that. So we have all this data here. We're expanding, and we say OK. So I've expanded, and if you look at it, we have our name, department, title, and uh, believe it or not, everything would have consolidated nicely, and then we have the item there telling us which month it is, right? So this thing is, you, you'll be wondering how possible is this, right? So if you remember, name, department, title, right? So this is department police, but let me filter by March. You remember that March was really kind of hopeless. Let me load more. 
Um, let me filter by March. Uh, March and June. Let's just see March and June, right? So let's go left. So you see name, department, title. It's properly done. It's changed it and made it all look and feel correct, right? So let me remove my filter. I'm going to click delete this step. So this is the query. This is the query for consolidating. Pretty simple and pretty cool. So that's auto headings recon. So that's our second query. Let's just apply. Let me close here, apply. So we're, we're done too. Let's get back to our Power BI to do the next one. And then we'll do the next one. So let's see the next one. 